In this video, I want to discuss the direction of current in a Y configuration. And it's all about instantaneous polarity, much like we talk about in transformers. So I just want to go over the instantaneous polarity of the windings and then how current flows through the load. And finally, how current is going to flow through the neutral. So here we have our transformer, three phase transformer. And then we'll have a three phase load hooked up to it. And we also have a neutral here as well. So this will be our neutral line. So we've got our star point as we know with the Y configuration. Again, these windings are 120 degrees outside of phase with each other. The load, same thing. So we're going to discuss how the polarity works on these things and then discuss the direction of current from that. Now this is the trickiest part of dealing with these and I find this when I'm dealing with either single phase transformers or three phase transformers. We need to figure out the instantaneous polarity. Now when I'm talking about instantaneous polarity, I'm talking about stopping time to see what polarity each winding is going to be at. Now just to be, for those of you who are going to call me on this, I understand that this winding is not going to be in phase with this winding, which is not going to be in phase with this winding. I get that, that all these polarities are going to be 120 degrees outside of phase with one another, but just for simplicity's sake, just to get an understanding, I'm going to treat them all the same. Now this, you can tell by the coils, is the transformer side. A transformer is a source. It's a source of voltage. Current flows from positive to negative, from positive to negative through a source. All right, so something's generating this power and current's going to go across like that, positive to negative through a source. Now, as we go along here, we're coming to our load. Current through a load flows from negative to positive. So we have the current being positive to negative from the source and it goes into negative positive through the load. So I got these big old arrows pointing the direction of the current. So again, positive to negative. And again, I've got the blue arrows denoting the current through the load itself. So this current's coming to this point, current's coming to this point, current's coming to this point. And then what's going to happen is you're going to go through the neutral and head this direction. So now I've got the arrow here showing that as these currents come to this star point through the neutral, the current is going to travel through that. And just to, to figure out what the current is going through the neutral, make sure you go to the videos where we discuss the, how to calculate neutral current. But right now it's just the direction of flow I'm discussing here. So the current's going to flow back through this way and into the actual source. And we can start to see now that current going through the phase is the same as the current going through the line. So the current doesn't change here. Now the current going through the neutral is going to be different. Again, I'll point you towards the video on the current going through the neutral. But at this point right now, we see that current phase is the same as I line. So in a transformer, three phase transformer, your I line is equal to your I phase.